Hey there, Elliot here. I bet you're here because you've been grappling with that annoying iPhone lock to owner message, otherwise known as iCloud activation lock. Am I right? I know it can be incredibly frustrating. You might have encountered several fancy software or services promising to unlock your device. Let's be honest, some methods spoken about online can be a gamble. Not to mention, they can be costly and may not even guarantee results. So, before you spend a dime, let's talk about a far more reliable, safer, and yes, completely free alternative. This approach is not only quicker, but also guarantees to work, and it's legal. So, whether you're struggling with an iPhone, an iPad, or an Apple Watch, stick around as we dive into multiple ways to remove that iCloud activation lock from your device. Ready? Let's get this show on the road. Here is a heads up, folks. This info is only for those who've genuinely forgotten their device access info. We're here to help rightful owners, not folks trying to unlock stolen stuff. Let's keep it fair and respect laws and others' rights. Also, everything we share here aligns with YouTube's guidelines and community standards. Now that we're clear, let's carry on. Let's dive into the heart of the matter. Those services that can help you bypass that irritating iPhone lock to owner message. Now, I'm sharing some tools you might find pretty handy, and best of all, they're dead simple to use. First up, we've got Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. Picture this. You're at home, it's late, and you've just realized you've forgotten your access details. You're panicking. That's where the Unlock Here web app comes in. It's like having a tech whiz by your side, helping you unlock your device in record time. Next in line is the safe unlocks. Imagine this, you're getting ready for a big presentation and you can't access your device. It feels like a nightmare, right? But with safe unlocks, you can breathe easy. It's secure, reliable, and more importantly, gets the job done. Then there's locked to owner. We've all had those days when we've goofed up and locked ourselves out of our devices. Trust me, I've been there. It's not fun. But with Locked to Owner, those frustrating moments can be a thing of the past. Last but not least, there's the iUnlock app. Picture this, you're on vacation trying to access your device to capture those perfect sunset shots, but you're locked out. It's not the best time to forget your access info, but with iUnlock, you'll be snapping away in no time. Remember, these tools are for folks who legitimately own their devices, not to regain access to something that's not yours. With that said, in the next step, will show you how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. Stick around and let's untangle this issue together. These unlock services work best in first world countries. However, if you can't access the services or prefer not to use them, we have another option for you. Every week we offer 250 unlocks for our loyal viewers. Want to know how to get in on this? It's simple. Firstly, give this video a thumbs up. Second, click subscribe. And finally, drop a comment below with your device model like a Samsung S9, IMEI, and Country. Once you've done these three steps, you're automatically entered into our weekly unlock draw. It's as easy as that. Just ensure the information in the comment is clear and precise. All right, let's proceed with the process of unlocking your phone. You'll start by firing up your browser. Head to unlockhere.com, the home of an AI assistant powered web app that's your secret weapon against mobile phone restrictions. Click Activation Lock to let Nifty know you need an iCloud unlock. Now it's time to specify your device. Choose iPhone, but remember you can also pick iPad or Apple Watch if that's what you want to unlock. Next, you must enter your device's IMEI or serial number. But hang on a minute, what are those? Well, all iPhones have an IMEI. Some iPads and Apple Watches also have IMEIs if they have a SIM card slot or cellular capacity. But for most iPads and Apple Watches, you'll need to use the serial number. To find this info on your device, press the sleep button. Tap it again and then the little I on the bottom right. Voila! Your device info is now displayed. Now don't forget this next step. You've got to input your device information. You'll also need basic info to attach the order to your account. Be sure to use accurate information so you can get your order confirmation. Remember, a confirmation code will be sent to your email and you'll need that. Check the box to agree to the terms and make it clear that you're not unlocking a stolen device. Solve the quick CAPTCHA to confirm you're not a robot, then tap Start Process. Keep an eye on your email for that confirmation code. It might end up in your spam or junk folder, so check there too. Once you have the confirmation code, head back to the Unlock Here website. Enter your code, confirm you're not a robot again, and hit Enter. And just like that, your unlock process has started and your device is on its way to being freed up. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone lock to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone, and as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. 
Don't worry, it'll be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again once it's finally unlocked, so it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap, forget password, or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. All right, guys, let's explore more alternative ways to get rid of that iCloud activation lock and pronto. Remember, these are all legal options for folks who rightfully own their device but have been locked out. First up, try reaching out to Apple. If you have a genuine purchase receipt, Apple can assist you in removing the activation lock. Just visit the nearest Apple store or call their customer support. But remember, this can take some time. Another option is using the forgot Apple ID or password feature on the Apple ID site. After all, it's not uncommon to forget a password, especially if you have more than one Apple device. Just enter your Apple ID and follow the on-screen instructions. You should be back in action in no time. The third method involves resetting your device through iTunes. This is a bit more technical, but don't worry, it's doable. You must put your device into recovery mode and restore it through iTunes. But be warned, this process will erase all data from your device. So use this as a last resort. Each of these methods has its pros and cons, but they're all viable ways to legally remove the iCloud activation lock. And while it can be a bit of a hassle, the peace of mind you get from knowing you're using legal methods to unlock your device is priceless. Stay tuned for our next videos where we'll dive deeper into this topic and explore some less known solutions. You won't want to miss it.